Hey everybody, it's Geo once again with another update for all of you. Now, I thought I'd come on here and, and do an update on all the stuff I got for October and November just so I could kind of separate that between what I'll get at Christmas assuming I'll get anything at Christmas. If I don't, I'll just come on here and cry a lot, but uh... <laughs> no, um... Yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, do that update. So, uh, some of you, these you've already seen me like wave at the camera like this. <laughs> and that was a while ago, but uh, I figured I'd come on here, do them one by one, show you what I got, and what could hurt, you know. So, first up is Batman Under the Red Hood. Awesome awesome Batman story um, at this point in my mind DC animated universe they, they can't go wrong so and I know they do the whole really fucking horrible Batman Brave and the Bold show but they've more than made up with it with shows like Young Justice and movies like this so yeah Green Hornet I got or were sent to me these are all from a friend they sent it to me. I haven't watched this yet. I know it's, it's not that I don't like it. It's just that I keep forgetting that I have it, you know. Especially when you have so many other movies to watch. Like I haven't watched, I haven't watched Another Earth. I haven't watched Super Eight. I haven't watched The Illusionist. I haven't watched Melancholia, which I really want to watch, but and I'm still catching up on all the anime I've missed over my lifetime because I was stupid. But anyway, I, I promise, I know you're listening out there, I promise I will fucking watch it. <laughs> One day. Anyway, we continue on with Grindhouse, the theatrical version. Always wanted this. I'm still going to get the, the extended cuts of the, the separate movies, but uh, I still wanted this just for, just for that this theatrical experience, man. This is what I saw in the theater. And once again, another DC animated, Justice League Crisis on Two Earths, fucking awesome. James Woods is awesome in this, is Owl Man. He just does a perfect job. The Karate Kid classic from the 80s, I forget what year, you know how it is. I haven't watched the remake, Jackie Chan, whatever the fuck, Will Smith's kid, whatever his name is. I'm not, I haven't watched it, I'm not going to watch it, I have <laughs> no interest in it, so yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll just stick with the, this, okay, that's good enough. Pandorum, love this movie, if you read, or read my review, watched my review of it during the Halloween marathon, and uh, if you went through all 31 days of that, bless you, uh, you are a god among people, and you need a fucking statue. But yeah, you know that I love this movie. It's a lot like Dead Space to me in my mind, and I love sci-fi horror. It's just good shit. Same thing with this one, Paranormal Activity. Don't know why I didn't own it yet, but now I do. Thank you. Got to pick up the uh, the uh, part two and when part three comes out, because I've already seen part three in the theater. I liked it. A lot of people hate on it, but I fucking loved it, so whatever. We all know I'm right, all right? Quarantine. I like, this, I like the Spanish version more, but this is still pretty fucking good. If you can't get a hold of the Spanish version, this will do you just as fun. There it is again. Superman, Batman, Public Enemy, DC Animated, can't go wrong. Uh, this doesn't have a short on it. It was the one that had a short on it. Oh yeah, Batman has the Jonah Hex short. Justice League has a Spectre. Now, if you haven't seen the the, the shorts, they are really fucking good. Especially the Jonah Hex and the Spectre. Those are two of my favorites so far. There's also a Green Arrow one, and I'm not sure about any of the others. But uh, they did really... Oh, well, there's uh, the Superman Shazam one. 
and that disc includes all of the shorts from these. So if you if you don't have this, you don't have the other one, you can just pick up the shorts. They're like half an hour each, maybe. Really fucking good, especially the Spectre one. Damn, if they could make a movie out of that, I would that would be fucking awesome. Last but not least, Tron Legacy. Loved it. Gotta pick up the original. Don't know why I don't own it yet, but it's it's one of those things I forget to like there's so many things on my like Amazon wish list that I just forget to fucking own these things. Like it's hard to choose, you know? Oh, she also did send me which I showed briefly. This bad boy, Willy Wonka Ultimate Limited set. Mm. Mm. I love it. I didn't do an unboxing of this because I just didn't feel like it. <laughs> uh, it's definitely worth picking up. I was going to pick it up anyway, but she decided to give it to me as a birthday gift, and I'm really appreciative of it. Uh, this will be joining, or will be joined, excuse me, it will be joined by films like Ben-Hur and Casablanca when they come out on uh, limited edition sets like this. Ben-Hur already is, Casablanca's coming out. I don't know when, they won't put a date on it, but... Now, I'm going to move on to my pickups that weren't gifted me. The, the ones I showed you were all gifts. These are the ones I gift... I, I gift. I, I bought myself. I got myself. Eh. I picked up myself. <laughs> Excuse me, I'm still retarded. I picked these up myself, you know, because I wanted it. I, I did the unboxing for Arkham City, which you already saw. And I mentioned I was getting Battlefield 3. Well, I got Battlefield 3. When it came out, I pre ordered it. So, and I've been playing the shit out of it, I've been enjoying it. Today, today, later today, the Back to Carcan maps come out, and I'm going to be blowing a lot of shit up in that one, so, yeah. Yeah, dust. Now, this is something I picked up, not much, but... Grumpy Old Men, God, I love this movie. And it's a double feature with Grumpier Old Men. I don't know if you can see that. <sighs> this, this this brings me back some pretty good memories. Uh, during a time when everything else was pretty rotten <laughs> in my life. So I picked this up because I love these movies. Jack Lemmon, Walter Matthau, even Burgess Meredith. They're fucking hysterical in this. They're, they're, they've always been hysterical, but when, when they're together... It seems it's like it's just like magic. Like you don't see that anymore when two actors come together. It's just really awesome stuff. I also picked up Green Lantern. Now I know a lot of people shit on this movie and love to shit on it. And it's a nice reflective surface for you. It is the extended cut, by the way. I've probably watched this about 20 times now. <laughs> I've watched it at least twice in the theater, the theatrical cut, obviously, and then on Blu-ray I've watched it three extra times, so that's five times, yeah. I see, I can add. So I like the movie, I don't know what people are complaining about, it's got good acting, good action, decent story, it's not Dark Knight by any means, or Iron Man, or any of that stuff, but it holds its own. And, you know, what more could you ask for? <sighs> I do recommend the theatrical... Oh, no, I don't. <laughs> I do recommend the extended cut over the theatrical cut because it just flushes out the characters more. And maybe that's what people are complaining about? I don't know. But, I'll put that aside for now. These I picked up during the Barnes & Noble... 50% off Criterion sale. I said, fuck it. It was November. I'll just go through Barnes & Noble and see if I like anything. And they had quite a few that I liked at an awesome, awesome price. These were $20 each. 
And if you know Criterion, if you know the prices of a Criterion, especially on Blu-ray, you know that for the most part you can't even get Criterion used on Blu-ray for $20. These I got brand new. And that would be Antichrist by Lars Van Trier. Really good movie that I enjoy a lot. Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas that really needs no introduction from me. I already have the Criterion DVD of this, but this is a lot better for obvious reasons. And for all mankind, I am a huge NASA enthusiast and space buff, so awesome, awesome documentary on this. Plus, it's loaded with extras. These are $20 brand new each with free shipping from Barnes and Noble. Normally, I don't think of Barnes and Noble as a movie store because you know it's Barnes and Noble. I, I associate it with books, but to have that sale go on, and usually the freaking prices are insane. It was just I couldn't pass it up, and I had to actually pass up uh, quite a few other movies because these are the ones I most wanted. Uh, there were a few others that I wanted. Uh, one of them was uh, Chronos, and I forget the other one, but yeah. Anyway. This one is another one I couldn't pass up. This one wasn't from Barnes & Noble. It was from a different store. It was from BJ's Wholesale Club. If you don't know what that is, it's like Costco's or Sam's. Except less evil than Sam's. Costco is good. I love Costco. But yeah, it's the Goonies box set. With the game and everything in it. I don't know if you can see that shit. This, this, was twenty dollars. Twenty dollars for this. And I had to pass up another one that was just like this. It's the One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Next box set. That was also twenty dollars. And I'm hoping if I can get back there in January when I actually have money, because <laughs> all of my money is on for Christmas. If I can get back there in January, I'm gonna fucking pick that shit up. But yeah, but I, I saw that and I saw it was also Grumpy Old Man I picked up at uh, BJ's Wholesale Club for eight bucks brand new. It's the Goonies. I had to get it. It's the Goonies. I was gonna get it anyway. Might as well pick it up for 20 bucks. Anyway, last but not least, I picked this up recently. This is my only purchase of December. My only one, because all, like I said, all my money is going to Christmas gifts for friends and family. But, but, but <laughs> this was on the Amazon Gold Box deal of the the day, or was it last week? I don't know. But uh, it's the Ultimate Matrix box set. This was $25 for all three movies, plus the Animatrix, plus the uh, two-disc supplemental. And to me, I already have the, uh, the first Matrix movie on the Digibook, which is the same disc as this from the box set. Same, break, same exact disc, but just in a Digipack form. and It's got the nice booklet and stuff, so I like that stuff. And uh, they have... Reloaded and Revolutions released separately on Blu-ray, but they do not have the Animatrix on Blu-ray separately. This one does. Well, it's not separate, but it comes in the box that this one has it. And to me, that's worth 25 bucks alone by itself. <laughs> Let alone the I didn't have the other two films, the two sequels. Plus, I didn't have the supplemental disc. Or this also comes with a nice little booklet it's not the same as uh, the booklet you find in the matrix digit book but yeah for 25 bucks free shipping you can't go wrong on this one and I think right now I'm not sure but I think right now they have the ultimate toy box collection for Toy Story all three movies plus all the loaded extras and nice 
limited edition packaging for $50. $50. I wish <laughs> I wish I had money for that, man, because that is a bargain and a half. And yeah, I'm just going to have to pay full price for that shit later on. But it's cool. It's all right. It's fine. Anyway, that's it for the update. Uh, next time I see you will probably be after Christmas, if I'm assuming I get anything. Um, yeah, sometime after Christmas, or New Year's, something like that. Anyway, if I don't see you before New Year's, I hope you all have a Happy New Year, I hope you all have a Merry Christmas, or Happy Holidays, whatever does you, and I'll see you all later. Y'all take care. Peace.